What's up everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Now let's get back into the real thing that matters, food. <laughs> Today I wanted to do one of those videos that I used to make so much on my channel. It's been so long I haven't done one of those food videos ideas and I know you've been asking for those. So in today's video I wanted to show you seven meal ideas for lunch. Those are vegan lunch, they're healthy lunch, they're easy lunch, they're quick lunch. I think none of the lunch, I'm gonna say lunch so many times in this video. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't think any of the lunch took me more than 10 minutes to make if you have the right like meal prep in your fridge. But I'll talk about meal prep in a another video later. And those meals are really easy to pack. So I personally work from home. I have lunch most of the time at home so I can like put it on a plate, in a bowl, etc. But they're really easy to put in a Tupperware. You can eat them slightly reheated. You can also eat them cold. They're not like super disgusting if they're coldish. Yeah, I try to be more like original and try to swap it up in terms of different protein source. Uh, I know not everyone can or likes to eat soy, so I try to mix it up with wheat, with other sorts of plant-based protein, such as nuts and seeds, and you'll see in the video. And I hope that these will give you good ideas for your lunch. As I said, it's been so long I haven't done any of these videos, so I would really appreciate your support by giving this video a thumbs up after you've watched it. If you've enjoyed it, leave me a little comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because it really helps to support my channel and it motivates me to make more videos for you. So let's start with those recipes. Let's go. I've made this recipe over and over and over again. It's just real, really good. Good way to eat your tempeh. So in a bowl, I start to mix the sauce ingredients. Sesame oil, water, lemon juice, paprika, some shallot powder. And then I add a second half a shallot because I'm intolerant to onion. You could definitely use an onion for this. And then this is about 150 grams of tempeh, which is a soy-based product it's very minimally processed compared to like flavored uh, tofu and stuff and then I add it to a pan I let that almost stick to the bottom of the pan and that's when it's a good time to stir and add the frozen capsicum and peppers with the water they're gonna like blend in and it's just really really yummy I serve that with quinoa or rice whenever whatever sorry I have in the fridge and a good dose of mashed avocado here for no dishes method <laughs> I top that with some gomasio which is a blend of dulce sesame seeds and it's a really yummy lunch This lunch, I also make it when I'm short on time. It's super quick. Basically, the only time you need is the cooking time of your pasta. So I use udon noodles. You could use soba noodles, rice noodles. You can also just use uh, regular pasta. It will work. For the sauce, I'm squeezing half a lemon in a little bowl. And I'm adding a big tablespoon of tahini. And now my trick to make a lot of dressing without increasing too much the tahini because it's really, really high in fat. I add a couple of tablespoons of soy yogurt. It doesn't work really well with coconut yogurt because it's a strong flavor. So soy yogurt is really perfect and makes a really creamy dressing like this. You can add a little bit of water if you wish. Um, and then very simple vegetables that I, again, had in my fridge some cucumbers, I added some fresh basil from my garden, I'm joking, I don't have any garden, but I do have basil, <laughs> and uh, a tomato, by the way, tomatoes are ripe right now, and they're so good this summer, I'm really, really happy, um, and then I drain the pasta, and a little trick not to make the pasta stick is to run some cold water over it, oh, sorry, it's a little bit out of frame, but yeah, you get the idea, 
and then you just drain it out put it in your bowl add your dressing to that add your vegetables to that you give that a really good stir and it's just a really nourishing healthy lunch and comforting at the same time and it's kind of cold and yeah it's just really something that i love to eat and again topping with that gomacio mix super delicious Your quinoa salad doesn't have to taste boring, guys. Just add a tablespoon of peanut butter, and this time I'm using half an orange juice. This adds a little different flavor than lemon. Uh, then some tamari sauce or coconut aminos I'm trying this time. Uh, chili flakes to make a little spicy sauce. And this is a bit hard to mix, but you'll get there eventually. <laughs> To a bowl, I add a really big dollop of quinoa. Again, it was cooked in my fridge. I add the sauce, I add raw carrots, raw zucchini grated, the other half of the orange and some extra cashews in there. Mix that well together. If you have time to let it sit in the fridge, it's even like more powerful in flavor. But if you don't, it's totally nice like this. Decurry your salad and enjoy. Okay, you might think this is absolutely boring, but trust me, this is so quick to make and so delicioso. I'm adding some green salad, olive oil, nutritional yeast, and this is a little mix of lentils, and I'm so sorry, I forgot to film how I do this, but I mix green lentils with curry powder, shallot, and I let that cook together. And then I top it with yogurt and sesame seeds and it's the best combo ever you need to try. I'll put the full recipe in the description box. Those wraps are one of my most popular recipes on Instagram. I, it's been shared so many times so thank you so much. This time I didn't have any chickpeas for it, so I'm gonna do it with, I think those are called split peas. I'm sorry if this is wrong, but it works the same. I'm adding cucumber, tomatoes. Can you tell there's like a theme of cucumber and tomato in this recipe? Green onion, nutritional yeast, paprika again, pepper. Those are my favorite spices and it tastes really, really yum. I mix that all together in a big bowl and then I add a couple of tablespoon of soy yogurt and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I mix that well together. I take either a wrap that I've made or if I'm short on time, a store-bought one. I add a little bit of the mix in the center and then basically you wanna fold your wrap over the ingredients and then fold at this side and continue on rolling until you finish your roll. You can cut your wrap in half, it's easier to eat like this way. And if you need to pack your wrap, you can definitely put it in a Tupperware. It's an easy grab-and-go lunch. Uh, you can have more than two, which is for the recipe for this. But yeah, I would have like around three or four for a lunch. Another very easy meal to prepare. I'm using frozen vegetables. They actually retain a lot of nutrients and they're already made, so yay for this. The only inconvenience is the packaging. Adding spices to it, I'm gonna put the exact spices I've put in the description box below, so check it out. And then this time I'm using cubed tofu. You could use seitan, you can use another kind of um, protein if you like, if you don't like it. You can totally skip it. I'm adding a cup of cooked quinoa, a tablespoon of tahini, and continue to mix that well together until it sticks to the bottom. When it does stick to the bottom, that's when you want to add the water so it can deglaze, it's called. So basically the sugar from the vegetables get into the meal and it's a very hearty, comforting meal, but not too heavy either. I really appreciate this one.
Okay, I'm a toast person when it comes to sundae. I think they're so quick and they can be really, really yummy. So I wanted to show you this recipe that I've posted on Instagram the other day. It's a pretty common one, but maybe you don't know about that. So instead of having scrambled eggs, you can make scrambled tofu by adding some tofu in a pan. Curcuma fenugreek is a really good spice to taste a bit like egg. I give that a good stir until everything is well combined. I added some fresh herbs and some fresh tomatoes. Again, mixing that together, um, no oil required at all. And then on a toast, I spread some hummus. Sometimes I make my own, sometimes I'm a little bit lazy to make my own. <laughs> and then on the other side, of course, avocado because a sundae without an avocado is not complete. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this video today. I hope it helped you out. I hope that you got some new ideas for your lunch. Don't forget that I have a ton of other recipes on my Instagram. I posted there more often during the last few months because it was just easier for me to like do short videos. I didn't have that much time with the new job that I started <laughs> as a yoga teacher. So now I'm getting back into the YouTube rhythm and having your support means the world for this so thank you i'm open to suggestions of videos things you want to see on my channel if you want to have the same version for breakfast or dinner or snacks let me know what you want to see and i'll make sure to write it down and make a video for you love you so much